Welcome to Junk Journal Inspirations. My name is Emily. I hope you're all having a fabulous day. I wanted to share with you um, a, 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 it's technically a junk mail envelope journal, um, but I kind of went overboard, <laughs> which isn't odd for me, right? I mean, if if you've been watching me for any amount of time, you know that I have a hard time um, doing things simply. <laughs> um, but this is for a swap in um, a, a Facebook group, Uniquely Robins. Um, and I will link to her Facebook group in the description box below. Um, so the, the swap was um, to use junk mail envelopes to create pages in a small journal. And I, as you can see, um, I did, I, I went above and beyond, I think. <laughs> I think I ticked all the boxes and then some. However, I did that not, I mean, you know, it's, it's always, I always get carried away, but I hadn't done any craft projects since before Christmas. So when I, sorry, I'm still a little winded. Um, so when I, you know, started this after I was sick, I, you know, I kind of was just, I wanted to do all the things, right? Um, it had been so long <laughs> since I had made anything and that's why, um, you know, I just, yeah, anyway. <laughs> so I really hope that my swap partner likes it. Um, so let's just get into it. I just want to show you and if you're interested, I can do um, sort of a tutorial and show you how I created it. Um, so let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that. So it is about 10 inches tall, right? Is that right? Wow. Yeah, I did kind of go, well, it's about nine and three quarters. Um, by about six and a half, there is a bit of a spine. Uh, I think it's a half inch. Um, and yeah, so I'm just going to show you what I did. Um, so we have some crocheted lace here on the spine and then some vintage lace here as well. And then I, um, this is scrapbook paper, but I added um, a vintage, I think it's actually antique, no, this one's vintage. Just, I think it's from 1940s, piece of ledger um, with this beautiful handwriting on it. I used um, just a stamp that I have here to mark received. <laughs> um, this is just a piece that I had in my stash, a uh, metal um, little stamp. Um, this is a vintage price tag here. Um, got a little um, index tab. It's metal. Um, this is a coin. Um, I'm not sure I, it was in my stash. I just thought it looked kind of cool on there. Some um, German measuring tape paper here. And I used some eyelets um, for my closure. And then this really pretty kind of um, maroon uh, sari silk. And I just left it kind of crinkly and all, you know, I like how that looks. Um, I thought it kind of brought out the red kind of color here. And then you'll see there's some of that throughout as well. So let's get inside. All right, so. On the inside cover here, um, I have a vintage stamp. I just stamped on the top there. Um, this is uh, a piece of cardstock um, that was already like polka dot embossed. I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, I also kind of embossed just very lightly, like a, a uh, beehive um, pattern here. And then I cut out another um, another Tim Holtz die here. I backed it with some acetate and then it just created a tuck spot and I just added a couple pieces of um, vintage ephemera in there. Now the first part of this journal is where the, all the envelopes are um, for the most part. Oops, I had, there, that's, that is why that wasn't I had put something in there to hold it so that uh, something was drying. <laughs> I left it in there. All right. <laughs> anyway, the first part is where all the envelopes are. And um, I, yeah, it's, if you want to see the tutorial, I will, I will do that for you. But I'm just going to kind of show you 
um, what it looks like today. So I just used a little spiral clip to kind of hold this together. So the first envelope is a little mini CD envelope and it is uh, coffee dyed. I put a piece of um, book page inside there. Um, this is a die that I have and I just cut out that little film strip. Um, and then this is, um, I don't know, a rail trailway, trailway, Pacific Trailways um, ticket bus system. Um, and it just fit in there perfectly. And then that flips and you have um, a scorecard, like a, um, I think it's a bridge tally sheet uh, on the back. So you've got some writing space. This is um, an antique ledger that I have from 1892. Um, I left it just kind of mostly blank for writing space. Um, I just added this little sticker. I think it's, it's like washi sticker, um, looks like a vintage uh, ticket. And then inside, what do we have? I have um, a bridge tally card and then a couple vintage bridge tally sheets uh, for writing space. That goes in there. And then that flips open. You've got some vintage encyclopedia page on the back there. Um, this is some um, paper from a patisserie, uh, a French patisserie. Um, and I just kind of inked it up, crumpled it up, um, and glued it onto this envelope. So when you flip that over, um, so this is an actual, this is an envelope. Um, and I just added this vintage book page on there and a piece of um, film strip. And then inside is um, a vintage check. I just love this color. I think that's cool. And a, um, a bank deposit slip. Pretty cool. I like the back of it. <laughs> so that slides in there. And then, like I said, I just used this um, spiral clip to kind of hold all of that um, together like so and then the next envelope is here and um, it already had this 15 on it um, I added a Tracy Fox label and some cheesecloth this was just um, off of uh, some vintage uh, score sheets I think um, but I just like I liked how that looked it's really I have to zoom out really far and now I realize you can't really see the details here and then inside is just a coffee dyed um, little card that has like a swirly little pattern on it. It's like silver. So for writing. And I used this um, one of these little guys to hold that down. Um, but then it also flips over here and you've got some more ledger. Um, just I don't know what that is piece of like, um, oh, I don't know, it's almost like wax paper. I used some Tim Holtz washi. And then this is the large envelope. Um, it was a window envelope. Um, but I <laughs> I have to I have to confess, I glued the um the encyclopedia page or a dic dictionary. I'm not sure what it is. It's dictionary, I guess. I glued it incorrectly. So um it's you can't see what's you know, <laughs> you can't see what's in the pocket through there, but I think I like it better that way anyway, because I really liked this page with the little, um, with the little flower. And then I just did some collaging. This was some, um, wrapping paper, um, that Tyler, um, used to wrap my gifts and he's so awesome. He saved extra for me, um, because he knew that I would like it <laughs> to use in my journals. Um, and then I use some, just some crochet lace around the window. You've got some um, vintage sewing pattern paper here. This is a, just a piece of um, applique. Some more, I think this is a score, uh, what is this actually? Um, I think it's a receipt page, uh, you know, like from a receipt book. Um, I've got some sheet music up here that's old. Um, yeah, so that is this envelope. And then this little guy, hold that down and then inside I just have a large piece of ledger that I just folded up 
like so. And that just slides in here. Truly, it does. <laughs> Nothing ever um, cooperates when you're filming, that's for sure. It's snug, but it fits. Okay, and I left it sticking out like this on purpose because I liked the little the little page number up there at the top. It was handwritten, little number eight. Okay, so then on this side, we have another window envelope. This one I did properly. So inside here um, is a, a vintage photo. I love this. Everybody is happy and laughing and smiling. I just thought that was pretty cool. It's from 1947. This is a lovely um, writ dyed time card from Dee Dee. Thank you, Dee Dee. And then in, also in here is uh, just a folded up piece of um, National Cash Register receipt roll that I have. And then I did um, glue a piece of uh, ledger, um, I think it's ledger, yeah, uh, inside there. So you can see it through the window if you take everything out. I like, I like how the photo looks through that window. All right, and then I just did collaging on here as well. Um, this is some more wrapping paper that Tyler got me. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. And then just a piece from a book. I've just got some um, some thread back behind there. Uh, this is um, a piece of typewriter paper. Uh, some more of that dictionary, some more um, sheet music, another piece of that like see-through, really cool um, vellum-y wax paper. Uh, this is some washi, um, some lace, and a couple little appliques, and then a little, um, flat back pearl little guy there and then on the back we have some more ledger um, some wide washi tape some lace uh, down here at the bottom this is a piece this is a little Tim Holtz piece put some uh, um, cheesecloth behind that some of the sari silk in there to kind of bring that color through uh, this is a Tracy Fox label um, a doily tea dye doily and then I loved how that blue uh, kind of showed through. It's kind of, it looks like it, it was wet at one point, like it kind of smeared. I love how that looks. Not even sure what it says, but I think it looks neat. So that's cool. And then this is another um, envelope. I've got some more of that um, measuring paper there. This is a piece from a reproduction of a 1900 um, Sears and Roebuck um, catalog. And then this is some shorthand book page, some more washi. Uh, this is from a receipt roll from 1965. Um, I've just got some, um, oh, let me, there we go. Uh, just some like spiral notebook edges that I tea dyed, coffee dyed, I think. Inside is an Uno dice score sheet. in there and all right and then the f um this is the back side of the large envelope I covered it with um vintage player piano roll paper um I like again how it has the little blue crescendo mark here and then I used some more of that doily, some sheet music. This is a Tracy Fox label. And then um, these are the initials of my swap partner. So I have some um, really old um, stamps and I just stamped her initials on there. This idea, um, I saw, I got the idea from my friend Dee Dee, um, but she got the idea from someone else and now I can't remember who what her name is. I'm so sorry. Um, I'll, I will try to remember to link it in the description box, but this is so cool. It is the bottom of a paper bag and I um, use some like onion skin paper and um, some dictionary page and Tracy Fox labels, some Tim Holtz washi here, and then um, a vintage um, 
milk cap, but then it's the it's the bottom of a lunch bag and it opens up and then I just have a whole bunch of um, vintage ephemera in here. So, I mean, I think this is the coolest thing and it doesn't add any, I mean, it doesn't add a whole lot of bulk to your journal or whatever, um, but I think it's perfect for like happy mail and stuff because you can just add a whole bunch of goodies in there and then it just lays flat. I did make it, uh, you know what? I made it a pocket. I just realized that I need to tuck something. I need to tuck something in there. I will do that. But anyway, yeah, so I just, I think that's so cool. So that's it for the envelope section. And now we're on to the journal section. Um, this was the memory dex card I made. Um, I had a video up about that and I just turned it into a, um, a little pocket here for some goodies on the front of the journal section. So there's just some, some fun little bits and pieces in here. And, and then it's just a bunch, oh, sorry, on the inside cover, I used one of the envelopes um, that I um, used wax seals on uh, in a video the other day. There's an antique um, bingo sheet in here and a, I think this is from uh, the Netherlands, little um, bus ticket or train ticket. It's paper, but I think it's cool and I like the color a lot and it kind of, kind of matches here. But then it's just um, tea dyed and coffee dyed paper in here, all different, all different kinds. I just sort of um, staggered them and you know, yeah, I really like how this turned out. It just a lot of writing space. And then I have in the middle here of the signature, a little Tim Holtz um, token that says peace, because we all need a little bit of that, right? So I'm not gonna go through all of this, but yeah, that's the journal part. And then this page, um, I have another envelope uh, that I used the wax seal here with a little flower inside. Um, and then I just kind of collaged a little bit. Um, and then I used um, one of the dies from In Love Arts is this little guy here. And I used some um, Prima wax on it to kind of make it, you know, a bit red. I think it's like a rusty red color. Uh, this is another stamp that I have. Um, this is a Tracy Fox label. And then underneath that is a bunch of uh, sorry silk thread from this particular sorry silk actually and then I in the um, the envelope is just a piece of stationery that I had tea dyed I just thought it was pretty and it had the the red the red color and then I turned this into kind of a double double tuck um, there's some uh, French uh, vocabulary cards and then um, some vintage playing cards so that one and then this one all right and that's the journal part on the back I have another one of the die cuts here that I added acetate to and then I just tucked some um, saber stamps in there and then on the back this is um, this is a die that I have um, and I just, it's Tim Holtz paper and then some of that polka dot embossed scrapbooking paper or cardstock um, that I have. And then I just tucked a bunch of little pieces in here, um, some vintage ephemera and such. And then my little handcrafted by Emily stamp on the bottom. And then I used some washi tape here just to kind of reinforce, um, reinforce my spine a bit. And that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, like I said, please let me know if you'd like to see how I made it. I think I can, <laughs> I think I can recreate it um, pretty easily. And uh, yeah, I'll show you. I'd be glad to show you how. Um, let me know in the comments. And um, I hope you have a fabulous day. I hope you find some time to craft, be creative, um, you know, whatever it is that you like to do that makes you happy. I hope you have time for that today. Um, and Susan, I hope that you enjoy, um, enjoyed our swap. I had a lot of fun making this. Um, I think it was, yeah, it was super fun. <laughs>
All right, guys, I will see you soon. Um, stay safe, stay healthy, and uh, yeah, I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye.